Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Lotus Reptiles, and well, we had a set of babies today, and I'm going to give you a clutch update on one that I never, ever showed the cutting. That's because these were live birth, that's right, and they're not boas, because you guys know I don't keep the boas here. Uh, do we break a tab of that thing off? Maybe. Oh God, this is going to get dangerous and scary. It'll be fine. Uh, things you don't want to say playing with these is it should be fine. So what did we have happen? Well, we have been trying to breed two wild-caught animals to prove out a genetic morph. Those two things, we actually have three of them, two males, one female. We use one male, one female for breeding. We have been calling them blood diamonds. Uh, Kurt's going to layer in some pictures here to show you what they look like because our display lighting's kind of screwed and it ain't worth messing with. So these blood diamonds are western, western diamondbacks that were wild caught in an area that I'm not going to disclose in Oklahoma. So some rancher doesn't have people on his land and the people who actually lease that land to hunt don't have people trying to poach their spot. Uh, but let's just say they're the color of this bucket. Yep, that's what they were. The color of this bucket, which is pretty awesome. I had a lot of people when we first showed these off when we took them home to do this project years ago who were calling me a liar and telling me that I had Crotalus Ruber and that I was illegally keeping Crotalus Ruber and I was an asshole. So today we're going to prove to all of them, even though I told them then that they were stupid, that if you said we were keeping Crotalus Ruber, you're a moron and I can prove it today. Because we bred those snakes together and lo and behold, we had baby western diamondbacks. Pretty cool, right? Uh, now I'm going to do something I said never do. I'm going to free handle one of these babies. Okay, this is dangerous. Dangerous. Oh, God. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh ah, I got him. So we did have three stillborns. So this is an idea so we can actually, you know, put our hands on this one. <laughs> the other ones in here are live. We had a total of 18 and we had 15, uh, 15 live, three still. Uh, two of the still were still kind of the nasty sack and I'm not going to pull them out because it's gross. But as you can see, this is definitely a baby western. The color looks very western-esque. So, so far the red color is not showing. If it was genetic, we would expect to see it because it would either be a recessive and we'd be breeding a recessive to a recessive or it'd be incomplete dominant or dominant and with two of them the odds would show us any red babies. So some red babies. So do we have red babies in here? No, uh, that does not mean we're completely actually screwed. The likelihood of it being genetic has obviously gone downhill, and I'm not going to bank on we just hit bad odds. I mean, there's 15 of the damn things. If I can't roll one in that, then I got other problems. But uh, sometimes with baby animals, it does take, a like think about an IMG boa is a good example, and there's some other things out there that just take a few sheds for the color to really display and show. So we are going to keep these back for a little while, let them shed several times, and see what we actually have. But as of right now, if you put a gun to my head, and please don't, because I'm going to like do some ninja stuff, take it from you and put it up your asshole, uh, and made me decide, actually I wouldn't do that, I'm not that badass, but uh, made me tell you if I thought these was genetic or not. I would just give you my wallet, and just, you know, it's only money, and then I'd just shoot you in the back like they did in the Wild West days. Uh, <laughs> Okay, enough on that topic. We're going really dark. Uh, anyway, if this is genetic or not, I would say we're leaning towards it now not being genetic. Now, that is a blow because we did, we're very hopeful it would be because the three wild westerns were all caught from the same den network and they were the only three that were red like that. So it would lead you to believe something was going on and not just a random occurrence. But we may just have a random occurrence. Um, we also thought that worst case scenario if it was not genetic, breeding two that were higher red would produce more red babies just through a line bred thing. And this baby is, uh, well, it's pretty dang gray. Now, I can tell you too, this is not the traditional color of that area, but these will take some time to color up. On the Oklahoma Westerns, I do tend to see a lot more yellow in the diamond patterns and things of that nature. So we're gonna let them get a little age and see these three guys here are going to go, uh, there you can kind of see the insides of it. Very pink in the belly, which gives a little bit of hope. Something I should tell you too is don't do what I'm doing here. If you find a dead western diamondback or a rattlesnake somewhere, it can often still bite you. You need to make sure all the nerves are done first, which we did. We actually picked those up with hooks, not our bare hands, and did some checking. So let's go ahead and pull the lives out one by one. Uh, 
you will see that one of them still does have a chunk of uh, yoke attached. It should be fine. And we already cleaned up mom and set her to the side. There are some definite variations in these. But nothing that I would say is truly a red one. Whoop, come on you. See a little bit of a cord still attached there. But that right there is a healthy Western Diamondback. We're going to keep these like ball pythons, keep them all in here until they shed, and then decide if we want to separate them out or what we want to do with them. But this will be their quote-unquote shed tub for now. Uh, so I have a question. Sure. Can they rattle? They cannot rattle. So when a Western is born, really a little bastard, they uh, have one little nubbin, and it takes two little nubbins to make noise, okay? So they cannot rattle. Oh, we'll lose one. There's two. You can see they're going to jump off the hook, but they'll be okay. And you'll probably see one get pissed and shake its butt, but uh, it won't make any noise. Now, after their first shed, they will be able to rattle. There is three. That one's much, much lighter. And if you look close in the back of this one, you get a little bit of a lighter color. So maybe we will get it to turn red, but I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I have seen that very color on many a wild western in Oklahoma. So again, this isn't something where I'm like, going to hold my breath. Um, I'd be like, oh, it's totally genetic, you know. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. If we were working something like albino, it would be really easy to tell right away, but we're not. Really, guys? When I'm trying to hook 15 different westerns, it makes for great... Uh, I should just dump the bucket. That'd be mean. I ain't going to do that. Hook and tail these little turds. Oh, you're going to stay on the hook. So that is four. Ha, 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 ha. We can do it like that. That'll make it more entertaining for you all. We'll go like... Yeah, you can see this one up here is starting to wiggle his tail a little bit. We can go, five baby nope ropes. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that belly on that one. Again, that could just be pre-shed and all that stuff. Oh, this is the one that still has a chunk of the yoke still attached. That will fall off with time. We'll get it out of there. That's probably my favorite one as far as the color goes. That is a very, very pretty western. You can see the little, all the white outlines on the diamond, the colors in there. That thing is going to be a phenomenally gorgeous rattlesnake. Even if we don't prove the red genetic, that's a stunner right there. Uh, obviously, this is not a super high value clutch or brood or whatever we're going to call these. Uh, unless it is genetic. But even not, let's say it's not genetic. How pissed off am I? Well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit bummed. But in truth, I'm still excited because it means that we proved our concept that we were able to breed these. It's one more feather in our, in our cap as far as species go. This is the first time we've ever captive bred on purpose a venomous species. They're such pain in the ass. It's like trying to get spaghetti with a pair of uh, with a single uh, a single chopstick. Okay, we're gonna just fucking rake you guys in here a little bit. Let's see if we can do it this way. Where another baby nope rope? You gotta remember. Not a lot of muscle control for these guys yet, so I can get away with a little bit of that. Uh, I wouldn't do that in about two weeks. They'd probably make you pay for that. Also, that one's pretty reddish looking. That's the same one I saw as pretty pretty. Captain Brad, they're going to be a little less feisty if you work with them like these. As you can see, none of them are really... We had a few when we were pulling them out of the Strike. Cage nasty taking that mom yeah their mom's a real bitch uh no other word to say for it she just is now a snake this size look how full that belly is there's a full yolk belly right there you can really see that thing has done a good job about taking its uh yolk sack in 
Now, can one of these still hurt me? You better bet your ass it can. These are not something you want to still take it lightly as I'm sitting there picking them up by hand. Don't do what I do, folks. I'm a professional idiot. Uh, and for that, too, let me be clear. I do not advocate free handling. That's why you still see me keeping a hook on these guys for the most part. We're just kind of a little bit of a hook and tail. Because they are still faster than you, I guarantee it. This one's actually just rattling its tail. This is another really pretty snake. Whoop. Missed ya. Gotcha. <laughs> Come here, cutie pie. So that is it. I think we had, do we have a total of 15? So there you are, guys. 15 baby Western Diamondbacks. I don't know if they're all going to survive. We'll see. I mean, they're obviously just born today. Getting them in here in the nicer light, I have a little more hope because this snake here looks like if it does color up, we could be onto something there. I just don't know. Uh, the weird thing is if we only get one or two in it, I don't know what that even means. That would be a strange, strange occurrence. It is cool. I'm sorry, we're kind of speechless because, you know, this is something that we, this is the first year we paired them. They're definitely old enough. And we did a witness a few locks. Uh, but to be blunt, this is our first year here at Olympus Reptiles. I know you, you guys watch this and you're like, oh, these guys have been doing this shit forever. And that is simply not true. You know, we didn't produce our first clutch of eggs until 2015. That was, that hatched. Um, and this is the very first year we've ever produced anything that is not an egg layer, and this is our second set of non-egg layers because Kurt did the boas earlier this year, which, by the way, when we filmed that update, it's awesome because 26 out of 27 were live and 26 out of 27 are still thriving. Well, 25 out of those 26 are thriving. One of them is being a cis-fed, but overall, they're just doing amazing. So props to him on that. Uh, so just getting new species done and new things is something that does interest me. And, you know, it's one thing to keep hots, it's another thing to breed hots. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I'm just saying shit now. But anyway, <laughs> anything you want, any questions you have, Kurt? No. Nope. Caleb, anything you want to add? No. I mean, truly, like, I mean, there was a point in time where we had removed the male and we would really just kind of, not really given up, but we are like, you know, let's not be disappointed if we don't get anything. And then what, three weeks ago, two weeks ago? Yeah. You were like, you told me she was huge. And by the time I had gotten to see her, she would thinned down quite a bit and then yeah. you know at that point i was like oh there, there's hope and then we were bringing an incubator in today and we had text matt like yeah you probably want to come over yeah like are you still coming over i'm like yeah man i'm taking a shit give me a few minutes so i wasn't planning on leaving him high and dry like oh you should come over with a surprise for you and when kurt tells me he has a surprise for me it's not always good like because and you can't tell because kurt is like monotone dry like I have a surprise for you. Am I going to get shot in the face? Did the house burn down? And that's how you're telling me? Like, that's how I found his mom had cancer one time, was a statement kind of like that. Just that dry. So you never, which by the way, she's fine. She beat it. She kicked ass. Survivor, all that. Let's light a candle in a bag and do a walk. Uh, that's not me being mean. We should actually do that. Donate to cancer research things. A lot of them are really good. Um, but, oh, one of them's behind the water bowl. Anyway. <laughs> and so I'm like, what is it? And then as I'm getting here, uh, as soon as I pulled in the driveway, I said, you know what? I bet we got baby rattlesnakes. And I came out and Caleb's outside looking like death warmed over because he's pretty tired. And I said, I think I know what it is. And he's like, well, I'm not telling you. I'm not going to tell you. And then he just looked so bummed. I'm like, man, why is he? I figured he'd be excited. And then I see Kurt and I said, we got baby rattlesnakes, don't we? He's like, yeah. <laughs> so I figured it out. Uh, but yeah, it was still still a big moment. It's a big, even if it's not genetic, I'm still really happy. Uh, but we'll we'll keep you guys updated as they shed. We'll let you know. One thing we've always told you from the word go is that we are going to be transparent, good or bad, right? So if we're working on a project and it proves to be poo poo, we're actually going to tell you it proves to be poo poo. This right now is a project that's not looking so hot, but some things do take a while. So we're going to wait it out and see what happens. You know, but it's not like, oh, well, we had them. They weren't all born bright red. We can't go up there and, like, you know, flex and do all this. We aren't going to share it. No, we're going to share it, good or bad. Uh, and I wish we had more of that throughout all hobby communities, not just the reptile community, because I think it helps new people come in, and it helps people when they have something that doesn't go well not feel like shit, because, you know, we all have it. Anything else you guys want to add? No. 
Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Baby Western Diamondbacks. We'll catch you next time.